one is uh, from the Department of Science, Technology and Environment, Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in Vietnam. Uh, in Vietnam, uh, since 1970, most of reservoirs uh, were built and uh, developed for multi-purposes, uh, for hydroelectric power, uh, flood control, transportation and irrigation. And uh, recently, uh, the number of reservoirs increasing rapidly, um, up about 7,000 reservoirs, and distributed in uh, 44 provinces. And uh, in our country, um, all small reservoirs are built to store uh, stream water for irrigation. And uh, um, up to now, we have uh, more than uh, 6,000 reservoirs uh, to provide water in uh, dry season. And uh, most of the uh, uh, this small water body uh, considered to be suitable for aquaculture activity. And uh, in Vietnam, uh, in the last uh, uh, 15 years, uh, cultural fishery is considered as the most uh, appropriate uh, management option for the fish production in uh, Vietnam. And uh, let's talk about the cultural fish fishery um, characteristic in Vietnam, that um, uh, most of the reservoirs are leased and managed by the individual household. And, uh, the provincial government responsible for uh, the reservoir maintenance and uh, regulated for the irrigation. And uh, the household get uh, mid-term contracts around five to ten years for the use of the, this type of reservoir for fish culture. And sometimes the right you reservoir is authorized for the community or cooperative to raise the fish. And uh, look at the screen you you all can see that uh, the fish culture will practice in 16% uh, of the reservoirs occupy about 40, nearly 50% of the total areas. Uh, the uh, harvested stocking species contribute about 15 to 19% of the total reservoir fish production. Um, and the fish yield in this small reservoir is quite high. Uh, ranging from 80 to 150 kilograms per hectare per year. And uh, since 1970, it's luckily that uh, we have the cooperation with the uh, um, Asia uh, funded project uh, with uh, many friends here and uh, our um, uh, Professor Sander Silva. Uh, we started with uh, the project uh, Red Rock Fishery Development and Management in the Northern Mid Highland region. Uh, so we focused, uh, you know, on a part that we focused on the uh, managed reservoir, not the small one, and uh, we try to focus on the fingerling stock, a small size, and uh, uh, we get, uh, we provide the scientific information for the farmer, uh, try to. Um, improve the uh, productivity and uh, um, give them more technology uh, in harvest and uh, other information, uh, scientific information to the farmer. So then uh, from 2001 and 2005, uh, the Ministry of Fisheries, the government authorized uh, the CBS technique uh, in Vietnam, uh, which is the, um, funded by uh, Asia. Uh, so uh, we uh, conducted uh, an, uh, uh, <coughs> a trial uh, in uh, 20 reservoirs along the countries uh, with different uh, species combination, uh, mostly uh, calves, uh, grass calf, silver calf, big head, common calf, and brigand. And uh, we also apply the organic manual to the reservoir and uh, the stock uh, harvesting strategy. So then, uh, more than two decades, we already developed the CBF uh, technique, and uh, we also um, uh, developed it uh, widely uh, through many programs. Uh, firstly, we uh, through the Asia funded uh, projects, uh, we have already have the uh, the best technique on CBF, and uh, through other technic uh, technical support program. Uh, like uh, from Spain, from Czech Republic, from Denmark, etc. 
we also uh, get more opportunity to train and uh, demonstrate uh, the CBS uh, technique and uh, also um, transfer, transfer different technology like case aquaculture, worm culture, uh, harvesting and post-harvest technique in small reservoir, uh, which is uh, combined into a um, uh, sustainable technology, technology for small uh, reservoir. And we also uh, uh, deliver uh, different uh, uh, documents, poster manual to the farmer. Uh, so you can see that we have uh, uh, different, different uh, technical manual in Vietnamese um, to the farmer. So we have uh, quite good achievement uh, on uh, the CBF in Vietnam. Uh, first of all, that we increased the uh, um, physio. Um, it ran from uh, 100 to nearly 500 kilograms per hectare and recently recorded uh, about 100,000 uh, kilograms per hectare in uh, uh, the small reservoir in central highland of Vietnam. And uh, so the average uh, is about 250 kilogram in this type of reservoir, and uh, uh, it uh, relates to the size of the reservoir. Stockfish contribute about 80 percent of the catch, and uh, the harvesting size varies between species and stocking times. So, uh, in Vietnam, we uh, most, mostly using uh, utilize existing water resources at the secondary user and is the non-consumptive uh, water resources and the technical is not uh, complicated it's quite easy to transfer and to apply uh, for this type of the, uh, aquaculture and uh, well, we can see that uh, these are sustainable, uh, sustainable uh, strategy enhancing fish food and uh, we can produce fish at low cost and it's really uh, cheap and easy um, available fish product to inland rural population and uh, uh, it's an important source in, of income of rural people so the government uh, uh, of Vietnam uh, also oriented uh, the CPF uh, uh, to um, you know uh, in aquaculture development strategy to the 2030 um, so first of all that we uh, industrialize and uh, modernize uh, Vietnam aquaculture in sustainable and uh, um, we hope to contribute about 30 to 35 uh, percent of GDP in the agroforestry aquaculture group and uh, we hope to create uh, about five million jobs for people and for the um, mid highland area where we mostly focus on the uh, developed fishery and aquaculture in the reservoir and the river uh, uh, in conjunction with uh, conservation and development aquatic resources uh, we try to build projects on uh, establishment of the cooperative and the, and the cooperative union on capture fishery and aquaculture in the reservoir and uh, we promote the CPAP application and development in a small reservoir. So that is all about the uh, uh, CPAP uh, uh, development and management in Vietnam uh, recently and in the future. Thank you very much for your attention.